about six inches. Okay. Trying to get most of the side there. I think that's going to be good. So I'm coming up on the Appalachian Trail Conservancy, which is uh, located here in Harbors Ferry, the psychological halfway point, they call it. And uh, I was here two years ago when I really was thinking about uh, doing a through hike. And I got to tell you, it's, uh, it's pretty um, nice to be here now as a through hiker. I remember seeing all these through hikers sitting out front of this, getting their pictures taken, and, and to be here now is pretty, uh, pretty emotional in a way. Uh, I've made it over a thousand miles, and, uh, and that's an amazing accomplishment. So um, I'm going to go in now and get my picture taken and get in the book. This is the Hiker Lounge at the ATC, which is a great place for hikers to just relax and kick back. Uh, there's lots of resources here for hikers, including um, the complete uh, photographs of all the through hikers and section hikers from back back to the 70s. Um, each of these books cre uh, contains a year, and it's fun to actually just pick one up at random and kind of go through and see where people are from and um, what their trail names were, when they started, when they got to this halfway point. Um, it's really a, a, an interesting thing. And if you pick up 2016, you can find me. Uh, through hikers uh, were given a, a red um, numbering this year, and I am red number 407. After checking in at the ATC, I ran into some old friends, Highlander58 and uh, Tom Willard on the other side there, uh, both YouTube vloggers. Um, and it's been so wonderful to kind of get to know these guys. And there's one other YouTube vlogger, Alan Craig, who I met at Trail Days, who started about a month after me. And just kind of having other people that are doing this to kind of talk to and run ideas by and commiserate with, uh, it's been great. I feel blessed to, to, to know all of them. It's been a while since I've been able to do a video on a specific town from the trail, but I couldn't let Harper's Ferry go by without doing a special video for, for it. it. It truly is a spectacular town. It really is, in a way, an American treasure. I've never heard of it referred to as such, but I will. It is truly an American treasure. You feel history in every part of it. Um, I, I, I felt like I was in a Mark Twain novel half the time. It it's just really transports you. Um, and, and not just the old town, um, which is what most of these images are from. They're from the historic district. But if you go into the residential areas, you'll find homes from the 17th, 18th, 19th centuries that are just beautiful examples of those eras, and, and it really helps you kind of step back through history. I, I highly recommend stopping in this town for a day. Um, it's not very big, so maybe a day's enough, but um, to, to kind of get a tour, it really won't disappoint. Harper's Ferry is an important town for African-American history because it's where John Brown, the famous abolitionist, led his rebellion against the uh, Federal Armory. Um, in addition to that, Storer College was housed here, which was one of the first African-American colleges that uh, Frederick Douglass was a trustee of and, and Booker T. Washington taught at. Um, and it's really interesting to kind of come here now and, and read up on the history. I learned so much just going through these rooms and, and reading 
reading up on the history that took place here. A large part of the lower part of town is, is just an open museum with stores staged as if they were in the 19th century. So you really can get a sense of the feel of, of, of what a dry goods store would have felt like as, as is shown here. And across the street there's a milliner and across from that is a, a machinist. And it's, it's a lot of fun to go in and just explore. Just up the street from the historic uh, district is are a lot of great businesses and and great homes. Here is a, um, there's a bed and breakfast and there's a great new coffee shop that just opened called God Check that uh, has great coffee but the best Wi-Fi I've found on the entire trail. So you'll definitely want to check that out. And then there's a great uh, Creole restaurant that just opened that I absolutely love and uh, went there twice. <laughs> two nights in a row because uh, it was so good. Highly recommended.